Today I will be going over how to set up your waypoints to film a video using the DJI GS Pro app. I already have another video on how to set up your waypoints for photos, so I'll leave a link somewhere here in the description. So once you open up the app, this is the first window that's gonna come up. I'm gonna go through a lot of these steps pretty quick since I already covered them in the previous video. So again, once the uh, app comes up, I'm gonna go back down on the bottom left to my missions. I'm gonna click the plus button. I'm gonna to go to the waypoint route. I'm gonna click tap. I'm gonna go fly to where the job is located. I'm gonna tap on the screen. And then I'm gonna create a few waypoints around the area that I'm trying to fly. So say one, two, three, let's just say four. So again, you can reference the previous video if you wanna know what a lot of these options mean. Since I just wanna show you guys how to set up the waypoints for video, I'm just gonna go straight to it. Uh, once we have all the points, once we created the points on the screen, then the first thing that I'm gonna do is down where it says cornering, I'm gonna make sure that says straight. Then I'm gonna go to each point, and then I'm gonna go to the beginning, and then down on the waypoint action, I'm gonna click there, I'm gonna add a waypoint action. I'm gonna tell it to hover for two seconds before it starts recording. I'm gonna add another waypoint action. I'm gonna click on start recording. So once I do that, the drone is gonna start recording and then it's gonna go around through the different waypoints and then eventually it'll get to the end and then we're gonna add another waypoint uh, to tell it stop recording once it gets to the end. So I'm gonna go back. I'm not gonna give any other actions uh, to the different waypoints. I'm just gonna go to the end. Down on the bottom where it says waypoint action, I'm gonna add a waypoint action. I'm gonna tell it to hover for two seconds. Add another waypoint action, and then I'm gonna tell it stop recording. So that's the end of the video. Now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go back through each different waypoint and adjust the gimbal pitch angle because you wanna make sure that the drone is filming that uh, structure or that subject that you're intending on filming. The, if you don't do this, the gimbal pitch angle might be too high, so the subject might be out of the frame, or it might be too low. Again, subject might be out of the frame. Now, before we go to the next step, I wanna point out that as we're going through all the different waypoints, you will see that the coordinating radius is grayed out. I cannot do anything with that. So then we're gonna go back to all points, then down where it says cornering, after we added our waypoint actions, now we wanna change it to curved. Once we change it to curved, we'll go back to each point and then you will see that our cornering radius is not grayed out anymore. Now this was the one tricky thing that took me a minute to figure out, so I'm saving you guys some time. So as we're going through all the different waypoints, I want the drone to, once it starts recording, I want a smooth transition from waypoint to waypoint. I don't want it to go straight to one waypoint, turn, then go to the next one, do a sharp turn. Uh, so the video is not gonna come out pretty nice. The video is not gonna look good. Now, as I'm going through all the different waypoints and I'm just in the corner and radius, you will see that instead of being a sharp uh, turn, it's transitioning, it's doing a smooth transition from waypoint to waypoint. Then I'm gonna go to the next one, adjust the corner and radius again. Now, as we get to the last waypoint, you will see down at the bottom where it says waypoint action, it says none, don't panic, the waypoint action is there. I don't know what happens, but if we go back to all waypoints, change it from curb to straight, go back to each point, you will see that both waypoint actions are there. So that's, again, that's the one tricky thing that took me a minute to understand. So once we verify that the waypoint action is there, go back to all points and make sure you leave it on curve so the smooth transition stays there. And then that's pretty much it. You're ready to go. You're ready to go out to your job site or to the field or whatever you're trying to uh, capture a video off. Hit fly, get the drone in the air, and the drone is gonna do its own thing. And then once it's done filming, then it's gonna come back where it took off from. I'll leave this video here for now. Stay tuned for more videos coming out and I will see you guys on the next video.